Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Building Blocks. I'm Brian Fitzy, and today we're going to talk just about setting up a guitar amp, the way to dial in all the controls to get the sounds that you want. Every guitar amplifier is going to have, fundamentally, at its core, a, a, a simple set of controls. And then beyond that, the more advanced an amplifier is, the more features it's going to have, the more deep levels of control you're going to have. Um, so a really simplifier, a simple amplifier, a simple, simplifier, right? <laughs> a really simple amplifier is going to have most likely just bass and treble. So your low frequency and your high frequency to be able to shape that uh, slightly. More advanced amps going to have a mid control. And then beyond that, you're going to have the potential for multiple gain stages. So the amp that I'm using right now for today is a Roland VGA7, which is a pretty big, high output, and pretty advanced amp. This amp can actually do, um, with a special uh, GK pickup guitar, you're able to change the tuning as it appears coming out of the speakers on the fly with just push buttons. You can go to Open Tuning, Nashville Tuning, Drop D, uh, Drop C. It's pretty wild. You can also do uh, a digital capo, so you can actually change just by chromatic um, half steps. But we're not going to dig into any of that today. I just want to talk about the most basic section. So uh, let's let's dial in. Here's here's a tone right now. This tone right now is sitting with everything just at 12 noon. So my uh, low, mids, and highs. <laughs> And it should be worth uh, mentioning that the pickup that I'm using right now is right here in the middle. All right, if I switch over to my uh, bridge pickup, if I go to the mid, and if I go to my neck. On a Stratocaster, especially, big difference, the neck pickup, these single coils, is just going to have a completely different character than when I go full out to bridge. I'm going to get a lot more spanky tone here. definition there. So I mean it's a favorite for me. And we've got the out of phase pickups. Okay so I have a little bit of reverb on the uh, guitar as well right now. We can tie, uh, we can change the tone of this instrument pretty easily. If we want to add just a little bit more brightness, we can add more treble. So I'm gonna roll that to three o'clock. Instantly, way more sparkly on the top. And if we're switched over to the neck or the uh, bridge, it's almost a little too harsh. Now we'll do the same thing. I'll set the treble back to noon, and I'll turn the low frequency, the bass, up just uh, to three o'clock. Even on the bridge pickup right now, it's just a little bit thick and muddy. Now if we switch over to the uh, bri the neck here, we're kind of losing any real definition. It's just a little bit too bloated sounding. So I'm going to switch that back here. Now every guitar is going to be different. I have uh, uh, Gibson Les Pauls here that sound completely different than my Strats. This Strat sounds completely different than any of the other four Stratocasters I have. It just has a completely different profile. The pickups are a, a different make. Uh, these were hand wound and they just have a completely different character to them. And they're also just louder than any of my other single coils. So the way that you pair up your amp and your guitar is is gonna it's gonna vary if you have multiple instruments so I have one setup in particular that is totally set up for a specific strat that I usually perform with it's my favorite live guitar none of my other Stratocasters will work right away I can't plug into that setup and just have it work so don't expect to be able to just immediately switch guitars and be like, oh yeah, this setup that I have sounds great. These pedals, this amplifier, all that. You're going to have to get in and tweak it a little bit. Uh, as far as distortion goes, distortion works by you have multiple gain stages. So a gain stage is where you step up 
the gain. You step up the presence of a signal um, by adding voltage to it. So the uh, in an overdrive or a distortion, you have a gain stage that steps up the signal, and then you have the ability to control how much volume is exiting that into the amplifier um, and going to the main master volume switch. Uh, some amplifiers that are more basic are just going to literally have a button that you press to go into overdrive, and that will allow you to turn the gain up as loud as you want and then set the volume so you're not constantly running blaringly loud. So, for example, if I turn the gain up on this channel while it's clean, I get really just kind of a bit of distortion there to begin with. I can bring the volume back and crank that gain up to where it was. Sometimes if you want to just get a little bit more of that dirt out of an instrument, you're going to turn the gain up. When it comes to distortion, I'm going to put this into distortion mode here. I'm going to turn the volume of the, uh, the initial gain stage down. So, and I'm going to switch over to a... Uh, lead setting as it is. Actually, I'm going to go crunch. This has f five different modes. Um, clean, crunch, lead, special, and then I believe there's a, an option for full range, which instead of having the guitar speakers just be uh, emitting what normally guitar speakers would, this switches over to almost being like a PA, so you can plug a keyboard or an instrument that has a broader frequency spectrum than, than a guitar into it. Um, Alright, so we got it on crunch, so I'm going to just bring the volume up a little bit. If I turn that down, we get pretty much right back to, with no gain, we get right back to our clean sound. So if I turn um, the gain up slowly, now with the gain all the way up, we've got some serious distortion. Some nice crunch going on. If I turn the volume of my pickup down and just bring it up a little bit, without having to have a stomp box to switch your distortion or overdrive on and off on your guitar amplifier, you can just turn the volume of your pickup down. If you're running a Les Paul um, or any, any guitar that has two independent pickup settings, um, volume settings for each individual pickup, uh, if you have two double humbuckers or whatever, then you can actually have like your rhythm clean sound on one pickup, maybe your neck pickup, and then your bridge when you go to take a solo, you just flip it down and it can immediately be obnoxiously loud and really cut through the mix. Um, I can crank, uh, I can, if I want to get more of like a metal sound, I'm going to scoop out the mids, so this isn't really the right guitar for it in my opinion, but... out with an overdrive distortion like this, it's not a metal distortion, that's obvious, but by taking the mids out, you lose 
just that kind of bubble there. You're also not going to really be that present in the mix. Um, but your high frequencies are going to cut a lot. So you're not going to you're, you're going to have the sharp angular knife stabbing through the mix, but you might just not have much body to it is what I'm getting at. That might be exactly what you're going for though. Now contrastly, if I bring the treble down, bring the high frequency down, we've lost all the definition on the top. So that makes a big difference too. There's one other feature on this amp that I just wanted to show you real quick, and that is presence. <clears throat> presence makes a impact kind of the way the treble does, but it does a different thing. It's it's this high air in the in the sound. Um, you can be noticed in a clean signal or distorted signal. I've got the presence right now at just around 10:30, 11 o'clock. So if I turn it all the way down. some of this transient airy stuff going on in the, in the high frequencies. I'm just going to turn it all the way up gradually here. You can immediately hear just a little bit more high frequency there. Spankiness. I'll turn it all the way up. That's a little bit of a different thing. If we go clean, I'm going to back the gain down because it's ridiculously high for this instrument. We'll turn the presence all the way down, just play a couple changes for you. I bring the presence all the way up. Just has a little bit more of that presence. I wonder where they got the name. So, that's just a handful of little things on setting up a guitar um, amplifier when you're going to go with config. I always suggest that you set everything right at 12 o'clock, top dead center, and experiment with making very minute changes. Every guitar is going to be different, every amplifier is going to be different, and you're also going to find different response from an amplifier the louder or quieter it is. Some amplifiers are just not going to have much character when they're quiet. Some amplifiers really need to get cranked up. There are amplifiers that pretty much sound the exact same no matter how loud they are or how quiet they are, but like I said, everything's different. If you have ideas, things that you want me to see, uh, things you want to see me do a video for, building blocks break here at 12 o'clock noon every Wednesday, drop a comment here. You can also hit me up. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, or Facebook. I'm Brian Fitzy. I will see y'all next week. Make it a great one.